Hello folks. Well, you know, many of you saw my review comparing the DJI Phantom, the Wakara QRX350, and the new Blade 350QX. So many X's and Q's and 3's and 5's, I'm in a island. Well, now that that's over, that was intense, I just want to fly the Blade tonight and get used to some of the functions that I want to experiment with. So with that said, I'm just going to fly a little bit in the dark here in one of the rare no-wing conditions. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of things here in the dark. Uh, first of all, you have to push left, right. That gets the motor spinning. In this GPS mode or the uh, smart mode, like it is right now, you can punch it. It goes doesn't go up that fast. I don't even have to touch anything. Just set it. Let it set there. See how it jumps a little bit? It take, takes a little bit. And now, once that's set like that, I can go straight up. I'll punch it, and you'll see it won't go up very fast. And wherever I stop, that's where it's going to stay. That's perfect, see? So I could go way up. And it stays there now. I don't know which left or front or backwards, so I just push forward, it goes forward. I push backward, comes backward. It goes whichever way I want, no matter what direction. I pull a stick, it will come back towards me here, no matter which way I'm pointing. I like that. But I can still turn it around in place. And don't have to worry about it drifting at all. What a better way to try this because there's all kinds of really cool lights on it. And because the blade has a unique ability to lock onto a GPS column and using very sensitive barometric sensors, it locks on and I'm not worried at all. Now, what I'm going to do now is switch it to Now I've got full control, but it's still on GPS. And just to show you how far it'll, how well it'll go up when I punch it here. In the normal GPS mode, it just flies great. It has unbelievable vertical climbability, especially without the weight of any cameras. What I found out by flying in the no wing conditions compared to yesterday is that the bird won't fly up or fly down fast if you punch the throttle or chop it. It's very nice and soft and it stays right where you put it. It's pretty amazing.
I'm flying this in my backyard, which actually intimidates me in the dark with all the tall trees and the fact that there's no FAA left, red, or green right to tell much on this bird. Especially since it's a new bird for me to get used to looking at and it's got all kind of really cool lights. At least none of them are blinding me. But you know, with the GPS smart mode and even return to home, I'm totally at ease with this bird, no matter what the lights are doing. It's very impressive. So, I thought I'd show you. Hope you enjoy watching it. I'm gonna shut it, I'm gonna put it in the homing mode now and just shut it off right from there and see where it goes. Here we go. Look at that. Please stay tuned because you're not going to believe what's coming up next. Thanks a lot and happy flying.